classifying hydrocarbons. So right now we're just going to get into um, the naming of various of the organic compounds that we're actually going to see um, pretty much with the remainder of this course and pretty much an introduction to the organic chemistry where you're going to be required to name um, various of uh, these hydrocarbon chains and rings um, and whatnot. And so what we're going to do is pretty much just kind of give you some of the basics and we're going to look at the simplest of the naming and these are called the alkanes. So we're going to be really looking at classifying hydrocarbons and more specifically the classifying of saturated hydrocarbons. Okay. So we can group hydrocarbons and other organic compounds into the following categories. So we got the regular hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons can be uh, either aliphatics and aliphatics as we're going to, uh, to look at uh, today and more importantly they get separated into the alkenes, the alkenes and the alkynes. This lesson is going to go about naming the alkenes. Other types of hy uh, hydrocarbons really important, the aromatics and others include derivatives such as alcohols, esters, which are the compounds that give fruits their aromas and uh, amines, which are components of amino acids. But we're not going to really look at those today. And we're just going <laughs> to just give you a brief look at the aromatics. But our focus is going to be on the aliphatics and these alkanes. So we're going to use the following here. The International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, the IUPAC, the IUPAC, has developed a set of rules for naming the compounds within each category. So there's going to be a list of things that you're going to go about um, looking at when you're identifying a hydrocarbon and how to go about naming them. Right? Um, in previous lessons you looked at how to name binary ionic compounds, transition metals, um, uh, polyatomics, right? acids, bases, but now we're going to be looking at how to go about naming hydrocarbons, carbons that contain carbon and hydrogen atoms. Okay, the names that are used by the IUPAC rules are called systematic names. Sometimes uh, we're actually going to refer to uh, naming the hydrocarbons based on these systematic names uh, as, uh, in accordance to the IUPAC rules. Uh, a lot of times, um, most people who are not in the science field usually know them based on certain common names. So, hydrocarbons are divided into two main groups. The aliphatic compounds, right? We looked at these, uh, these groups. Right? And these are organic compounds based on straight chains or ringed structures containing single, double, or triple bonds. The ones we're going to look at, the alkanes, are the single bonds. Right? So these are what we call the alkanes. Ones that contain a double bond are known as the alkenes and the ones that include the triple bond are known as the alkynes. So today's lesson though we're going to go about naming these um, al uh, alkenes. Now the other types of uh, hydrocarbons are the aromatic compounds and these are based on the benzene ring structure of C6H6. Right. So these aromatics as we said that give the aromas and fruits are usually in ring shape. Okay, and again, we're not going to look at uh, these ones right now. We're just going to focus on the straight chains and, and, and branched chains of these aliphatic compounds. Saturated hydrocarbons, and that's the one we're actually going to focus on today. All carbon-carbon bonds are single bonds. Right? So anything that's considered saturated contains only single bonded uh, carbon atoms. There is no room to attach anything else to the chain, right? Because everything, all the valence electrons have been pretty much uh, filled up um, to accommodate the maximum number of electrons uh, in, its, um, in its valence. So, here's an example, propane. Notice how we've got each carbon bonded to one another, right? And we know that carbon contains four valence electrons. Right? And these four pretty much bond to one of the hydrogens here, one of the hydrogens here, one of the hydrogens here, and to the other carbon. So note the fact that carbon can bond up to four times with any other atom around it. Right? And another thing to keep in mind 
uh, with these um, hydrocarbons, usually the outside for these alkanes that we're going to look at today, the outside atoms, notice, they usually contain the CH3 endings. Right? Because carbon can bond up to four times, three of them with uh, hydrogen, which leaves one more to allow it to bond with another carbon that usually is found in the middle. So unsaturated hydrocarbons, when the carbon chain contains one or more carbon, carbon double or triple bond. And here's an example of propene, okay? Uh, just to kind of give you a, a hint, this is what we call an alkene, okay? Uh, and really, like I said, we're gonna focus on single bond, but now notice again, same thing, carbon up to four valence, one, two, three, four, and it happens to do a double bond with another carbon atom, okay? And like I said, we're not going to worry about naming these ones with the double bond. But just so you guys see that anything that contains a double bond or even a triple bond are known as unsaturated hydrocarbons. 